Good morning. I'm Dr. Cynthia Clark, acupuncture physician, applied clinical nutritionist, and creator of Energy Evolution with Longevity Wellness in Sarasota, Florida. And today I want to talk to you about soft tissue injuries, both chronic and acute. And I'm about to say something that's going to be completely the opposite of what you've otherwise done or heard. So I want you to pay close attention. When I was a personal trainer, the way that we were taught to treat acute soft tissue injuries was, everybody knows this, rice. Rest, ice, compression, elevation, right? We all know this, really important. Except that then when I went to Chinese medicine school, I learned that those were exactly the opposite of the things that we should most be doing. So let's take them one step at a time. Rest. All right, we're gonna come back to that. Ice. Nope. So the problem with ice is that it stops all blood flow. When you think about it, you put an ice pack on in order to decrease uh, swelling in a particular local area, right? In the same way that when you put something really, really cold into your stomach, it decreases the blood flow to the stomach, which can make that difficult thing that you're trying to eat, like ice cream, more difficult to digest. So this is why ice cream is so hard for many people to digest. Okay, so going back to ice, what should you do? You should actually do exactly the opposite. My favorite thing to do is to use a special type of heating pad called Moxa. Uh, and this is a, um, a little heating pad that you can get, you need it to turn it on, and then you can use it to put on the area of injury. What does that do? Okay, inflammation is a process that we want. The body has an inherent intelligence and it knows how to take care of its injuries. What we want to do is we want to make it go faster because we don't want to be injured for any longer than we have to be. We want to facilitate the process. So let's help it do what it really wants to do naturally. And the way we do that is by using the moxa pad to apply heat to an area. What that does is that helps to move blood flow through. While you're doing that, you may notice other parts of your body tightening up. That's because you just injured yourself and this is a natural thing to happen. Put the moxa pads on multiple different places and you'll be able to facilitate the blood flow through that area. This helps to clear inflammation. It helps to clear the lymph. It facilitates a fast healing process. Okay, compression. Well, compression isn't the worst thing in the world, but there's an excellent way to do it. You want to do this with a skilled practitioner. And most likely, this is someone who's trained in the lineage of martial science. What that means is that people who are trained through the, the martial schools on how to treat acute soft tissue injuries so that their students could get back out into the competition or they could get back out onto the training field or, of course, at one point it was to get back out onto the battlefield. Uh, so I'm not recommending either that you do nothing and I'm not recommending that you do this completely without any guidance. But I want to let you know that there's a very, very, very different paradigm of thought around this healing. So compression, better, is a particular type of massage. This is a massage that helps to flush the fluids through more quickly. Very important that it be done in exactly the right way. Uh, this isn't, rubbing it is fine. That's not going to hurt it. Um, well, it's going to hurt because you just injured it but that's okay. You're going for the little bit of hurt to get that big amount of healing. So, um, you know, so a gentle kind of rubbing that you know how to do, that's fine. Uh, but if you can work with a skilled acupuncture physician, someone who's trained in this special type of trauma injury, and this is called a deep dao, deep da, deep da practitioner, the, um, one of the formulas, trauma formulas that we use is called deep da jiao. So if you can work with someone like that, like me, uh, like some of the other people here in town, then they can help to facilitate those injuries to move through much faster. All right, so let's talk about rest. A little bit of rest is good. The trouble is that most of us learned that when we had a particular type of injury, we needed to stop doing everything so that we could let it heal. And the truth of the matter is that if you can continue training other parts of your body, then your body will recover much more quickly. In fact, if you do let's say a single leg squat on uh, the non-injured side, the injured side actually gets the message and starts to respond faster. So do as much as you can. Uh, don't hurt yourself and don't work 
to injury, we don't want you to injure yourself again, um, rest as is appropriate, but don't rest longer than you need to. And this is one of the mistakes that I see people make a lot, is they'll rest longer than they need to, and they think that rest means, ah, I'm on the bench, I gotta sit on the couch and eat potato chips now, and then motivation to get back in the game is significantly less. So, um, so movement instead of rest, uh, heat instead of ice, and massage instead of compression. So instead of ricing it, I recommend mmming it. Um, the last one is elevation, and you know, for a short period of time, then that might be okay. That might be something you want to do. Um, but again, really, what we're going for is to facilitate the blood flow, facilitate the lymph flow as much as possible. There are special formulas. Work with a skilled practitioner. It's doing nothing is not the same as working with a skilled practitioner, but know that there are much, much, much faster and better ways to heal. For example, the first time I dislocated my knee, I was on crutches for the better part of a month and I was limping for about three months. Uh, the last time I dislocated my knee, I did a open water swim about yeah four days afterwards. I did a 35 mile bike ride about six days afterwards and I went running again 10 days afterwards. So it is possible to heal well, thoroughly and very quickly. And I encourage, and now that you know, I encourage you to bear this in mind the next time something happens. Have a great day. Dr. Cynthia Clark with Longevity Wellness.